Hey, hello, you're starting to travel with Wolf Gore. A few minutes riffing on IT and IT security. Today, looking at the importance of disabling legacy authentication protocols within Azure. You know, uh, in the in the good old days, classic hacking, classic hacking was uh, <laughs> simple stuff. You would tell them that into an SMTP port, EHLO, or if you really want to go way back, hello, and you'd type email to this person, email from, Bill Gates at Microsoft, because we thought we were hilarious. <laughs> and message and send. And uh, and SMTV went, oh, okay, cool, groovy. You must clearly be Bill Gates. Sent. And there was no nothing. The problem is these protocols still exist, right? The problem is SMTP is still out. The problem is POP is still out. The problem is um, Telnet is still out. You just go on down the list. And this isn't too bad per se, if you're behind a firewall, but it's very, very bad if you're in the cloud. So the tip for you is this, when you're moving to Azure, make sure you go into your conditional access policies and see who's using these protocols, have a plan to move them off gracefully, and then cut them off of the knees <laughs> because by default they're on. And so what ends up happening is I move my AD into Azure AD, right? I set up AD Connect and I'm, I'm replicating back and forth my on-prem. Awesome. And all my terrible protocols are in my own LAN and no one can get to them because they're segmented and firewalled off. Awesome. And now these ports and protocols are open on the internet. These legacy ports and protocols. And maybe I've enabled MFA. Awesome. You should definitely enable MFA if you're using Azure or really anything cloud-facing. But these legacy protocols weren't built for MFA. So I'm a criminal, a smooth criminal, <laughs> and uh, and I want to try and guess your passwords. I'm not going to use a password spray attack on new protocols because you may challenge me with MFA. I may not even get to know if the password is incorrect, but if I can latch on to those legacy protocols, I can spray all day because it's not gonna prompt me for MFA, it's not gonna have the same level of security, and frankly, it's oftentimes below the radar of most teams. Therefore, you end up in this situation where um, by moving into a cloud environment and accepting the defaults, you've weakened your security. So, in sum, please, please if you are uh, using Azure, go into your conditional policies and make sure that those legacy protocols are cut off at the knees. Uh, have you seen some issues in your environment? Uh, have you gotten in any problems having these left on? Hit me up in comments or social media. Cheers.